All right. This is a more brief version of my original video on recoil aim compensation. So today I'm not going to be demonstrating what I'm talking about. You can try that out yourself and see what I'm talking about, or you can watch the other longer video. But in this video, I'll explain basically what recoil aim compensation is, because a lot of people misunderstand it. So there is some animation that attempts to return your crosshair to its original starting point when you don't make any mouse movements with the setting on or off. So the animation goes, you, you have some upwards recoil, then the animation resets your crosshair. So when you have the recoil aim compensation on, in the upwards direction, you can make any movements up or down, and it will shorten or lengthen this line depending on how much you move move during that phase. But on the downwards direction, you can still move upwards and your crosshair will end at a higher position. But if you make a downwards movement, it ignores that movement if it's not large enough of a movement to go past the original starting crosshair position. And with this, with this when it allows upwards movement, anytime it makes the upwards movement, it forgets that it happens. So if you make a small upwards movement and then you make a downwards movement trying to get to here, you have to actually counteract the movement up that you just made. So keep that in mind. And then the alternative where you can actually go past where your crosshair started is a movement that's not ignored if it's large enough to pass this. So then let's talk about it with it off. Same deal, up and down, except here, you can make any up or down movements on the up, and you can make any up or down movements on the down. However, while this one is not a fixed animation in the up or down, as in you can drag down and control recoil for like bat, for example, and you can push up and your crosshair will move up anywhere on this line. This one is a fixed input only in the down direction. So if you move up, then it will show like in the animation that it's moving up. But in the down direction, it will only show the down movement after it comes to the reset, then it will add whatever movement you made during that time. So it's a little bit funky, a little bit clunky. Um, not the biggest fan of this form of input as opposed to other games, but that is how it is. This one's definitely bad. This one feels a little bit better to me. And so to demonstrate, let's say you take a shot and you're just above the head. So you want to make an adjustment down to here. So if you have the recoil aim compensation on, you go up and down. And to make that adjustment while the animation is playing, because you want to have your next shot lined up, you have to move all the way down and the animation is playing so you don't have any strong visual cues you have to basically ingrain where you are where your uh, crosshair is going to peek out and where you are in your movement down ingrain that in and then make your your flick where this one you have the starting uh, crosshair position as like a guide and then you can make your flick but yeah both are clunky I prefer this one, you can prefer this one. It's not going to make a huge difference in your aim, but and most people get used to it. The only thing is, with this one ignoring mouse movements, with, with this one, your, your physical mouse always matches up to where your crosshair ends up. With this one, your physical mouse and your crosshair can become out of sync. And yeah, that can get... Uh, that can get quite annoying. And when you control recoil on BAP, this one, so it, it remembers what animation should have played and it will add in movement. So you move your mouse down during this period to compensate. And so your mouse physically moves down, but the crosshair never moves down. So you keep adjusting for the recoil and your mouse moves slower and slower down until you have to lift it up and adjust it. 
where with this one you're they're always in sync but if you you know adjust for the recoil in here you have to also counter adjust if you want your crosshair to end up in the same spot so pick your poison multiple mouse movements but your crosshair and your mouse are in sync or one mouse movement but your and your crosshair is guaranteed to uh, end where you start it but you have to lift up your mouse ever so often and you have to consider this one might not allow you to micro adjust as easily so that's basically how this setting works